Well, happy Sunday, true believers. A battle of top 20 ranked teams at John Wood today as the 19th ranked Trailblazers tried to avenge an earlier loss to number 13, Spoon River. John Wood, led by as many as 10 in the first half, started leaking oil late in the first half, though this Rhaegar McKinney strong take at the cup started to kind of balance things late in the first half, and then it's Jarvis Jennings doing Jarvis Jennings type things against three defenders, three point play for him, but John Woods wants 10 point lead whittled to just two at the half. Second half, John Wood looking for separation, they'd find it. Brandon Crack, great adjustment midair, gets the bounce shot to go off the window right there. Then later, it's this guy, Xavier Presley, had himself 13 points in the day, three the hard way right here, and the lead is suddenly five, and John Wood is going to shimmy its way to more. Check out Brandon Crack yet again. Pull up jumper, good for him. He had 12 points on the day. Later, a run out opportunity for Mohamed Fadika. Mo in transition, he's not going to be able to complete this, but Javian Taylor is there to tap that in with two hands, and the lead is now seven. The Blazers are not done yet. Mo Fadika atoning for that earlier miss. Strong take at the cup right here for him as well. Big story in this game, though Jarvis Jennings, 24 and 10 today, and he closed out with a screaming three point play right here, the traditional way as John Wood pulls away and gets the win in this one 95-86 to atone. Also, men's soccer today, Quincy University in a thriller against UIS, overtime tied at one. This is El Sadiq Hassan taken down, lots of controversy about where he was taken down and who should get the red card, but no matter, Mr. Casera steps up from outside the box, and yes, Idri is gonna give his team the walk-off winner with a penalty restart. Indeed it is, Quincy University your winner today, two to one in OT. On the women's college pitch, Quincy University took a 1-0 lead over UIS into the final two minutes of the first half, and then this happens. A pull down in the box nets Lauren Crane a freebie. She connects on the PK. Riley Hayes and Maddie Bauer add goals as well in a 3-0 victory. Across the way in softball, Mackenzie Collier here getting out of a first inning jam with the first of her 10 strikeouts on the day. Look like the Lady Hawks in the bottom of the first might stake her to some runs. This is Jaylee Jennings, the pride of Van Farr, opening the game with a single. Hawks had two aboard but could not play to anything. Collier kept cruising throughout, striking out batter after batter for McKendry, but she did give up a solo home run in the third, took a one to nothing deficit into the top of the seventh, gave up four runs there. The Hawks with no run support today. They fall five to nothing in the first game, dropped the nightcap four to one. Elsewhere in college softball, Culver Stockton sweeping a pair at home today from Graceland in one-run ball games. Nevertheless, Culver Stockton improves to 3-3 three three in heart play. In college baseball now, John Wood taking on ICC, trailing 8-4 in the bottom of the third. Blaine Tupker, a fine piece of hitting to touch off a four-run uprise in the frame. Nearly a much bigger frame at that, Andrew Fay. Flirting right here with a two-run home run. He'll hit it off the top of the fence, just barely keeping it in the park. However, despite the comeback in the frame, John Wood loses the first game of the twin bill. 18-12, bounces back, and wins the nightcap by the final count of 12-4 to end up with the split. And we'll wrap it up tonight with some women's college basketball. John Wood looking to avenge an earlier loss to Spoon River. Spoon's only win of the season. John Wood all about business early off the opening tip. Yeah, Anastasia Massey comes free. Then it's Miss Ajane Garrett knocking down the face-up jumper. Rainbow's home right there. How about some fancy passing from the Lady Blazers? This is McKenna Little finding Lerna Indona, who had a monster first half in this game. Check her out right here. She tied for Team High Honors with 14 points and knocks down the triple. And when your hand is this hot, your teammates are going to find ways to feed you. Stephanie Anders penetrates and finds Lerna standing wide open to the free throw line. She knocks that home. She had 14 points. Allison Moore, the pride of Paris, also with 14, cleaning up nicely the Delaney Bowers miss right here with the offhand. She had 14 as well as John Wood gets the win today, 61 to 53. With your look at Sunday sports, I'm sports director Chris Dewar.